grouper fishing. What can I say? It's one of my favorite types of fishing inshore. I'll be quite honest, I haven't been targeting them a whole lot this year due to the fact that there are too many dolphins at the Skyway Pier. But now, ever since I started fishing for them in the shipping channel, it's a whole different ball game and I'm hooked. So going into today, I stopped by O'Neill's Marina to pick up a few dozen live shrimp, just in case we come across triple tail. And I also cast netted for live greenbacks at the Skyway Pier so we have enough bait for the day. One is done. Alright, that's plenty for the day. Alright guys, we just got to the, uh, the first spot here, we're in the shipping channel. And I haven't even pulled up to, to that buoy yet to see if there's any, uh, any triple tail. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drip a shrimp in there and hope for the best. Let's go with this guy here. Smaller, smaller shrimp, but he'll do. So weird throwing a throwing shrimp on a on a big old rod. <laughs> oh, that was so quick though, man. Oh, it looks like somebody's rig he uh, he took with him. Nice. We got a dolphin behind us. First triple tail of the day. Small, man. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Snapper, baby. <laughs> That's a fat one right there, man. This guy came up the surface. Hit the freaking dead uh, thread fin. Smaller dead thread fin. Not bad. We'll take him, man. Good deal. Let's get this guy unhooked. In the box, baby. That's a solid one right there. Looks like we're gonna have to switch up and go for snapper. First snapper in the box. There's a school of mangrove snapper right there. Oh, it's a triple tail. Smaller triple tail. <laughs> Hit the dead, dead freaking green bag. What the heck? That's first for me. A better one not not a keeper though they got to be 18 inches i bet you this guy is like 15. used to be 15 but now it's bumped up to 18. all right this guy is short i'm gonna have to let him go see ya that was pretty cool man he hit that dead uh greenback let's put another dead greenback out there looks like that that water is starting to go out now and um, I had a triple tail chase the uh, the cut bait. I got a shrimp out there. Let's see if they uh, let's see if the triple tail will eat that shrimp or the snapper. They're finicky, man. Snapper are finicky. All right, guys, we're we're gonna switch it up, man. We're gonna go just strictly for mangrove snapper and grouper. These ones here next to this buoy here, they don't want to bite. They're finicky. We got one out of the group, but there's like. 10 other really nice ones and they just won't touch anything I throw at them. So let's switch up the game plan. Oh, yeah. It's a good fish guys. I don't know what it is though, but man, he hit it so fast. What is that? Grouper. Oh man. He might, be, he might be a keeper, actually. He might be close. Dude, this grouper came up out of nowhere and thumped it. 20, 22 inches. No, 20, 23. 23 inches. So close, man. They gotta be 24. This guy is short. Can you believe that? <laughs> Are you kidding me? 23 inch grouper. All right, we're gonna have to let him go. He's uh, undersized. That was so cool though, man. So much fun targeting these guys. I'm pumped. Something new for me. Usually target them uh, off the Skyway Pier, but that's a, 
pretty healthy looking fish there. All right, guys, ready for the best part? He's gonna thrash like crazy. Man, too bad he's short. Otherwise, he'd be going home with me. <laughs> he would've been in the box already, along with that mangrove snapper that I have in there. But he's short, we're gonna have to let him go. All right, here we go, the best part right here. He's gonna, he's gonna thrash. <laughs> It never fails. Not a bad day so far, guys. Got on a few triple tail, all small, one snapper. We saw a school of really nice sized snapper, but only got one to bite. All right, let's get back to fishing. That's the size bait we're using right there. I noticed that the grouper, they like the bigger chunks. So I've been, I've been cutting up uh, bigger chunks and sending them down there. No snapper yet, surprisingly, but does not mean they're not down there. I, I know they're down there. Just gotta get them to um, come up. Oh my goodness, man. I couldn't even turn his head. What's going on? Snapper. There it is. Keeper. That's a keeper right there all day. Got somebody's rig. All right, let's put this guy in the box. Good deal, man. Look at that, guys. That's somebody else's uh, rig. <laughs> Guggen rig. All right, let's throw them in the box. Got another bait. Another bait down there. Hoping to get a snapper or a, a keeper grouper. Just letting that bait drift along with the current and wait for the bite. Good fish, guys. You pull drag a little bit. Man, this little guy pulled drag. What the heck? He came up for that big chunk of a uh, of bait I threw down. Tiny little guy. <laughs> Good deal. Pretty cool. He is lit up blue. Look at his fins. His tail. All right, good deal, man. Ton of action today. This guy is small. Oh my gosh. Every time, no matter how big, how small they are, they still thrash like crazy. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a keeper. All day. All day. All day, baby. All day. All day. All day. First one. First keeper in the bay. I'm so pumped right now, guys. Yes, baby. All day. No doubt about it. That's a keeper. 24 inches. Probably 26. Check him out, man. Let's go. That's a tank. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm psyched right now, man. This is so much fun. 20 pound leader. Got her done. All right. Good stuff, man. That circle hook just comes right off. Stole this guy in the box. Don't even need to measure him. He's probably, oh, let's, let's measure him real quick. My guess is 25 inches. Twenty, twenty-five inches. Twenty-five inch grouper. Good stuff. First keeper grouper in the bay for me. That was so exciting, man. Let's put another bait down there and see if you can't get a second one. You're allowed to keep two keeper grouper per day. Again, using big chunks for the grouper. Oh man, that was a big one too. Oh my gosh, what the heck was that? That was so fast. Oh my gosh, dude. Whew.
small little guy, man. Little guy's gotta eat too, you know what I mean? Let's get this guy unhooked and back in the water. Might be a snapper. Let it be a snapper, man. Oh yeah, it's a keeper. Grocery shopping today, boys. We got we got snapper and grouper. Snapper like that, that size. I'll I'll fry them up. Fry them up whole. Chunky. Grouper. Oh no, snapper. Got the snap. Two more and we limit out. It's a nice one right there. Probably 13 inches there. Good deal, man. So much fun. Grouper and snapper. So he's literally right there, man. We gotta go. <laughs> yeah, we're not dealing with dolphins today. Not today. Don't have time for that. It was good while it lasted. I mean, we got four mangrove snapper, a few uh, gag grouper, one keeper, 25 inches. Not a bad day, man. That's gonna be a wrap for me, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I was so excited, man. Caught my first keeper gag grouper in the bay. Four keeper mangrove snapper. Couldn't get the last one. That tide just like started ripping in. So it was kind of hard for me to drift that bait down to the, uh, the strike zone. I was gonna go get live pinfish, but I figured we've had a successful day, so we're just gonna call it a day and come back out here again next time. Hope you guys liked the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.